Hello, this is John Purcell from QuantumLifetime.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at photon polarization, which is surprisingly peculiar and we're going to get our first taste of the weirdness of quantum mechanics. So in the last tutorial we were looking at passing pulses of light through Polaroid filters that were oriented in different directions and we saw that if we pass a pulse of light through two Polaroid filters that are oriented the same way. You kind of have to imagine um, this going directly into the screen instead of sideways. Let's call this case one. Then the light will be completely transmitted, basically. I mean, that's an approximation, but uh, pretty much. And conversely, if we pass light through one Polaroid filter, and that, that is to say, I should have said that the light that makes it through the first filter will be completely transmitted then through the second because the second one's in the same direction as the first one. Now if we pass light through um, a filter that's like this and then we face it with a filter that's oriented at right angles, as we saw, it stops there. We get 0% transmission. And if we have a filter that's at 45 degrees to the first filter, so let's say it's like something like this. Then we're going to get 50% of the light that's transmitted through the first filter will make it through the second filter. Now, what happens with a single individual photon in this ray of light? If we imagine that the light is made up of photons, which are very small packets of energy, like particles, if we imagine this, then um, we must imagine that any single individual photon that makes it through the first filter here in case one is going to also pass through the second filter, so there's no problem there. In case two, any individual photon that passes through the first filter successfully will then be blocked by the second filter, which is at right angles. And in case three, now what can we say here? Let's suppose a photon makes it through the first filter. What happens when it hits the second filter? Well, in fact, no one on the face of the planet can say that because it turns out that the best we can say is that there's a 50% chance of that photon getting through and a 50% chance of it not getting through. And in fact, we can't even look at a photon and say its polarization angle is such and such. All we can do is we can say, well, all we can do is pass photons through Polaroid filters and a photon which passes through a Polaroid filter like this, let's say, some any old angle, will always pass through another Polaroid filter that's angled in the same way. And because of that, no matter how many of these filters we have, it will get through if they're all the same. And because of that, we say that the photon, after passing through this filter, filter A, is now polarized in this direction and it will pass through uh, filter B. But when it comes to making measurements where we're not measuring the same thing, so if we rotate the second Polaroid filter so we're not making the same measurement the second or third or fourth time, then we cannot say definitely, well except in this extreme case here, case two, we can't say whether the photon will definitely get through or not. All we can give is a probability um, about its chances of getting through. And if you think about it, that only makes sense if we're looking at a lot of photons because a probability as applied to a single photon doesn't even have much meaning. So that's what we're looking for in quantum mechanics. We're looking for probabilistic rules that say if we made these set of measurements and we then make immediately this set of measurements, then there's such and such a chance of this happening and such and such a chance of that happening. We're looking for these probabilistic rules. And some people think that the photon must really have something coded within it that would actually determine, if we only knew it, whether it will get through the second filter. But it turns out that it's very, very difficult to sustain that point of view. And it, it seems as though there's genuinely some sort of probabilistic element to it. And that furthermore, it's questionable whether the photon has a definite um, polarization state until we actually measure it and force it to. So things are beginning to get very weird and we're going to move on to try and formulate this in some kind of mathematical 
manner. So that's it for this time. And until next time, keep it real. <laughs>